ჩვენ ვაკეთებთ დევიდო ეს, ეს არის უკვე ჩვენი მეორე პროექტი, პირველი პროექტი იყო დიჰაბსი, რომიდან წარმატებული ექსიტი გავაკეთეთ უკვე წლის დასაწყისში. დევიდო ესი ეს არის გაერთიანებული ელექტრონული ჯანდაცვის ჩანაწერები, რომელიც იქნება დაშიფრული ბლოკჩეინის ტექნოლოგიით. ინოვაციური იმითი არის რომ ახლა ეს ტექნოლოგია თვითონ ბლოკჩეინი არის ახალი და ინფორმაციულობის გაცვლადობა დღეს რაც აქვს სახელმწიფოში ან სახელმწიფოში ხრიურ ან საავანთხოფოებს არ არის ელექტრონიზირებული და არ არის გაცვლადი თვითონ სხვა პროგრამებთან შეიძლება პროგრამებთან მიმართებაში და ბლოკჩეინში მისი მოქცევა აქციოს ინფორმაციას თქვენს პირადს კონფიდენციალურს და გაცვლას ეს ახლა ინერგება ეს ტექნოლოგია კორეაში, ესტონეთში და ან მაგიტომ არის ინოვაციური ჩვენქნით თქვენს მიერ თქვენ ჯანდაცვის ინფორმაციას თქვენ თვის ხელმისა თვითონ და არის ავანთხოფოების. One day there will be no borders, no boundaries, no countries, no flags, and the only passport you will need will be your heart. My name is Bakar and today I would like to introduce you David, Universal Electronic Medical Records stored in blockchain. But first about my team. Today I represent one of the finest teams in Georgia. Three years ago we created DHubs. It was the first Georgian startup ever accepted by US accelerators. We closed two investment rounds. Our story was featured by Geekwire, TechCrunch, The Next Web, Forbes, and early this year we already made successful exit. Recently, one of the brightest tech minds of Georgia joined our team to solve the huge worldwide problem. If you get hurt and show up in the hospital unconscious, they have no idea about what medications you're on, where you have been treated before. Basically, your doctors will know nothing about your medical history. In 2015, only in US, 80 million patient records were stolen and 400,000 people died because of the inefficient electronic medical record system. And who is responsible? I blame your hospitals. <laughs> your hospitals are storing your very sensitive information centralized on their physical servers. So records are insecure, not shareable, or interoperable. Until today, there was not any single trusted institution in the world, not even the US government, who could promote universal, exchangeable format. But now we have blockchain. Blockchain is underlying technology behind the world's biggest digital currency, Bitcoin, but for now, forget about the Bitcoin because blockchain impact on your lives will be much bigger. Imagine huge digital records. Nobody is in charge. It is not maintained by a person, a company, or government. It is maintained by thousands of independent computers located all around the world in a distributed network. So if you want to add new information in the system, you need approval from every single computer. If you want to hack the system, you need to hack majority of those computers. Many tried, including the United States national security finest, but they failed. This is the proof everybody trusts. So we propose to encode medical records in blockchain. As a holder of the blockchain key, the patients and only the patients will decide who, where, and when will have access to, their, to your information. Our goal is to unite whole healthcare system around thousands of machines without any centralized authority. So your records will no longer be maintained by hospital, insurance company, or government. It will be maintained by a distributed network. That's why your records will be secure, private, but shareable. We are not creating software. We are creating trust. So how it works? First, you need to lock any changes in your records using your private key. Your transaction is broadcasted to the blockchain network where thousands and thousands of supercomputers start hashing the information based on the sophisticated mathematical formula. In 10 minutes, your records are, are locked in blockchain forever. Now you have a full control. Using your private key, you can send your records to the public addresses of hospitals, government, insurance companies, or research organizations in real time. But I want to bring your attention to the very last one. Because imagine the public data we can all together donate to cure the future generations. This will be massive acceleration of all other healthcare innovations out there. Our business model is very straightforward. We, have, we offer software as a service to the hospitals. And in future, selling analytics will be a huge part of our business. Market is huge. It's 23 billion with expected growth rate of 10%. 
Only in the 2016 and only in the first quarter, more than 100 million VC funding went to the blockchain startups. This summer, US government and UK government started to explore possibilities of blockchain-based applications. And recently, Hillary Clinton announced that blockchain will be the key for the future innovations. So this is becoming really big. Our competition comes from Factum, Jam, and Guard Time, and they're really doing great, but we are first in our region. We are the only ones focusing just on healthcare, and I strongly believe Georgia is one of the best places to start. We already validated our product with Ministry of Health, and they are very supportive, they are very interested. Uh, idea is that already for years our government is trying to create universal format, but because of the law about privacy, medical records cannot be changed directly from one institution to another one. So our solution is data interaction without any central authority. This was a great solution for them, and it was a great validation point for us. But besides that, I strongly believe disruptions like this will start from the small developing nations like Georgia. We have one of the best e-government systems. We are using digital ID cards more than five years. 20% of Bitcoin mining is happening right here, right now in Georgia. And government is very open to the blockchain-based applications because good example is soon in Georgia, real estate property titles will be, will be registered in blockchain. Millions, often billions, are invested in uh, US blockchain startups, but most of them are just proof of concept. Here in Georgia, we have a chance to create first real-life example. Once we do that, we will be well ahead of our competition, so we have a chance to go for a bigger market. Uh, initial investment from Gita will be used to create product prototype, but soon after that, immediately, we are raising $700,000. Several investors are already committed, and uh, the funds will be used to create first real nationwide example in Georgia. Future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams, and our dream is beautiful. After collapse of Soviet Union, Georgians saw how, how our parents, how our grandparents lost their pensions, their lifetime savings, they lost their dreams. And this, this should never happen again. We are committed to the mission to create absolute digital identity where individuals, not institutions, have control over how and with whom credentials will be shared. Everybody who believes in making opportunities available for anyone in the world, everybody who believes in democracy and the power of people, will support our mission. And once we complete our mission to create absolute digital identity, that beautiful day will come when there will be no borders, no boundaries, no countries, no flags, and the only passport you will need will be your heart. Thank you. Well done, well done. That is delightful. Thank you. Question? Well, I guess I'll, I'll just start out. So, I mean, it sounds like a great idea to start in Georgia. Um, I don't know the system here, and we don't have that much time to talk about it, but what I would say is, um, it does seem to me in different countries there are different structures. And in the United States, you, you know, everyone watches what we do, or some people watch, and the complexity of the healthcare system is you have the caregivers, you have the insurance, you have the government, you have the, you know, there's, there's a lot of stakeholders, mm -hmm. a lot of people involved. And that's one of the reasons it's been very difficult to change even, forget blockchain, but just for yeah. electronic me medical records, period. So I guess my question to you would be, um, what, how do you envision, if you're successful in Georgia, how, how do you think it, it, your chances are to go outside of the country? So, uh, as I said, like the first target is to make this system in Georgia, but even the initial investment from Gita will be used to make much more detailed research in US. We want to have mentors adv and advisors from the industry specialists from US, and the most important thing is that system we want to build here must be in compliance, must be compatible to the US market, and once we do that, we have a chance uh, to fight, and there, there will be a very fierce competition, but we will have the validation point behind us. I was only confused about one thing, because it sounds like a great idea. Uh, and blockchain is, people are really looking at blockchain for health systems, for sure. Um, there are only two major EMR systems in the US, Epic and the, the other one, I forget. And they have the whole market. And so were you planning to connect with them or partner with them and then have this on top of that? So how, how, how would that relationship work? For Georgian case, we also want to create our own software, so doctors will be working in the one software, but there is possibility to build the protocol over the existing software. So it can be additional layer to the existing uh, 
uh, software systems. You would integrate with yeah. Them. yeah. So we will just register the data in the blockchain, but the Doxos will work with the same software they are working right now. But uh, actually, it's in the working process, so uh, we will see how we will go. Like, but it's possible to have the additional layer on the existing softwares. Okay. Is the government of Georgia your first customer? Sorry. Is the government of Georgia your first customer? Yeah, we started working on the product three months ago, and uh, last month we already started talking with Ministry of Health, and we are in the process of negotiations. They want to create universal system, and we are proposing our solution. So hopefully they will become our first customer by the end of this year. So it's, it's process yet. Any other questions? Uh, just, um, you said you were working with the government and with, with hospitals, so, it, and, but this is to protect the individual, so is the, your main point of contact these institutions, or is the main point of contact patients? Main point of the contact is the government who will organize to create the universal system, but this system will be patient driven. So, for example, if you encode your data using your digital ID, only your digital ID will, will unlock the data. So the information will be stored in decentralized network, but in order to make this happen, first we need to negotiate with the government institutions and the hospitals. So first we need to validate our product with them, but end product will be for sure for the patient. So it will be only patient oriented, and you will have a choice whom and when you can share the information. Well, you should try the UK. The national health system is government run, and they do often try new things. Thank you. Thanks and maybe with help from IBM as a big brother partner, because ultimately, <laughs> or Microsoft, because <laughs> ultimately you will need, a, the government will worry about your survivability. And so having a big brother partner like an IBM or an Oracle or a Microsoft exactly right. will give you, oh yeah, we're behind them. I call it the positive big brother, not the negative one, the positive one. That's there to protect you, to help you be successful. And if yeah, you, yeah. for some reason, aren't, they can carry on. So that, that's, that's a very important yeah. part of One other question I have, surrounding countries, have you had a chance to evaluate nearby countries and are they in the same process to going towards ERL, electronic records? Uh, not, not, not our neighbors, but uh, in the Eastern Europe, many people are trying to adopt the universal electronic medical record system, but uh, not all of them know about the blockchain possibility. So mm -hmm. they want to have the universal system, but the, their problem is actually the privacy, so blockchain can solve that. In Eastern Europe, there are many countries. Also, I lived in Dubai, and I, thought, I know that in the Middle East, uh, in Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, there will be interest. So our target will not be basically our neighbors, but the region itself, Eastern Europe and Middle East, after the Georgia. Right. So Deborah dr flew a long, long way to get here, so you should at least talk to her about that possibility. <laughs> we have yeah. a whole blockchain division now. We have a whole blockchain business, and we have massive healthcare business. Yeah, so. let's talk. It will be a pleasure for me. Yeah. So tell me about your first company you said you sold. Yeah, it's called D-Hubs. It was the social network where people, post, where people were posting in the streets, where we were using digital billboards and projections. So we were working in CL. Uh, in US and uh, the company was sold to the Razorfish. It's one of the biggest mm. media agency oh, yeah. in North. Yeah. Wow. So the I idea is that wow. uh, the software was uh, software is compatible for the billboards, for the analytical parts, for the real-time control. So uh, it, it's called D Hubs. You can search and. Who's um, David? David, uh, the name comes from the movie Artificial Intelligence. Ah, oh, that yeah. David. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now we get it. So, the yeah, f first robotic child program to love human beings. So, okay. it's inspired Excellent. from there. Great. I love your start. I love your last slide. The same one, the vision <laughs> of the future. Like David against Goliath. <laughs> exactly. Ah, oh, there you go. David against Goliath. And maybe with the health of the Goliath in this, in this case. <laughs> okay, great. Any other comments, feedback? Uh, All right, great. Thank you. Thanks. Makopiluan,